Okay, so here we're going to do a setup and install of a Sons of Wand, taking it out of the box and looking at which attachment we're going to need to use. I'm going to take off your valance from the blinds so that doesn't get in the way. Pull out your other joints and attachments and match it up with your specific blinds. In this case, I'm not going to use a screw one, but I will need this hole to go on the hook on these blinds. And then you do want to make sure that all the sensors are facing the window. And that's when you want to determine whether you want your blind to install to the left or to the right. So we're going to have to take all of this off to replace the hook and switch around the tab. So it takes a Phillips number one to take out all the screws. And then we just pull off the tab here and flip it 180 and put it on the other side. The screws go back in. And again using a number one Phillips bit to put the screws back into the wand very gently. Don't need a lot of force to put these screws back in. And then on the uh, motor shaft, there is a flat side to line up with the attachment. So you just have to line that up carefully, slides back on, it's a nice tight fit. And then we put the screw back on there so that we can put it back on the blinds the way we need it to go. It's good to do all of this at once so that you're not taking the attachment off and then putting it back on and then figuring out you want it attached to the other side on the bracket. Now we're going to take off the bottom and we're going to pop out four AA batteries from inside the box. We're going to slide all four of them down with the positive end facing the top of the wand. We're going to screw it back up and then we can hook this onto the blinds and we're going to let it hang and then we're going to figure out where we're going to put the mount. Again, make sure the sensors are pointing the window. So the deal with this mount is that you want it to click onto the little fin attachment and you want it to rest gently. You don't want it left, you want it right, you don't want it pulling on the wand. You want the wand to just hang gently down but not rest against the blinds. So just kind of like right there and then mark with a pencil so that you can figure out exactly where you need it to go. Peel off the sticker to put the pad on there and then press it up. And now we're going to open up the app. So first it's going to see if we have any devices. We do not so we're going to add device at the bottom. Uh, you can go to the next step or skip and then it's going to ask you to turn on your Bluetooth and then it did and now it's going to scan for your Sunza wand and it'll pop up with the Sunza device name Sunza underscore wand underscore with numbers um, and then you click on it and it will connect to the device and you'll either get a drop down for your local Wi-Fi networks or you have to type it in uh, and then the password and then you're connected and then we're going to calibrate and this is the fun part. So once it comes up, it's going to ask you to make sure that the blinds are fully open. So it wants to find the neutral point of that. And then once you do that, you're going to close it all the way in one direction. And you don't want to do it too hard, but you just want to make sure they're closed. So as soon as they're fully closed, you hit the bottom button that says they're fully closed, and then it'll open them through the entire path until they're open. It'll ask you if they're fully open and if they're not you'll just have to adjust a little bit left until they do it. Then you're going to do the same thing in the opposite direction and to be fully closed and then it'll open them back up and ask you if it is fully opened and if it is then you're good and 
the calibration is complete and your wands are ready to use. And then you can use them with your smart home integrations or just through the app.